Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So guys, your girl's Patreon channel is up and running. So if you would like to support your girl, you'll be able to find a link in the description box below. I do post two exclusive videos per week. So go check it out if you feel called to. So guys, this reading is going to be for all my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. And this reading is going to be about what's going on in this connection with your person. Okay. So pile number one, you're going to be the yellow dog figurine. Pile number two, you're going to be the red dog figurine. And pile number three, you're going to be the blue bear figurine. So again, pile number one, yellow dog figurine. Pile number two, red dog figurine. And pile number three, blue bear figurine. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the figurine that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot by Kachu again with another video. So my pile number one, you picked the yellow dog figurine and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one for my Taurus is Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. What's going on in this connection with your person? Taurus, what is going on in this connection with this person, Taurus? We have the Ten of Pentacles for you, my pound number one. So Taurus, this person that you're connecting with, um, this is somebody who wants to have like something serious with you. Like they want to have the Ten of Pentacles with you. I feel like they're uh, ready to make it official if you guys are not official yet that's what they want Ooh, maybe you're dealing with another Taurus like yourself or a Libra here but what I'm getting with this energy ooh, this is really nice oh I like this for you Taurus this is somebody who matched your fly this person definitely views you as the Empress okay beautiful exquisite uh, very talented, loving, nurturing energy with the Empress energy. Like whether you are, whether uh, this person has um, Taurus or Libra in their chart. And I feel like uh, my pal number one, Taurus is, you may have Libra as well in your chart or you may have like Taurus, maybe your Taurus is in Venus or something like that. Okay, what's going on in this connection for your Taurus spirit? What's going on in this connection? We have the Ten of Wands. So there's definitely some sort of conflict of interest or some sort of struggle or obstacle with this connection. Like this person that you're connecting with is very fond of you. They want to take it to the next level, but there is some sort of burden. It could be like family issues or yeah, we have the eight of wands. This person is willing to take a leap of faith towards you. They're taking actions like they want to make it official with you. They don't care what anybody else thinks, what anybody else feels about this connection because it could be taboo or it could be a forbidden love or something like that with you and this person. 
it could be like culturally maybe you guys are from two different cultures maybe you're black and they're white or you're white and they're um asian or you could be christian and they're muslim or you're muslim or they're christian something like that where it could pose an obstacle or a challenge to this connection where it's not really because you guys are from two different backgrounds but then it could be like the people around you so like your family your friends could be opposed of this connection okay so what's going on in this connection spirit yeah we have the seven of pentacles so like all of the invested time that you've put in in this connection is going to be very fruitful this person is willing to risk it all to be with you because i feel like you guys are not officially together but that's what this person wants they want to make it official they want to you know build with you with the ten of pentacles this is somebody who's serious about you taurus what's going on in this connection for taurus yeah this is somebody who wants to work with you with the three of pentacles they want to engage with you like build this connection from the ground up like be more serious like make plans for the future they have been thinking about it with the two of wands but there's definitely opposition because you see the two rams they're like butting heads so there's definitely some sort of opposition here within this connection and i don't feel like it's because of you or because of them but it's just like i said the people around you this person come could come from a wealthy family or that could be you I feel like some of you, like either your side or this person's side, the family is not approving of this connection because of like different statuses or culture, cultural norms. It's something to do with culture or social status. Maybe you guys are not from the same social status. Not that you're poor and they're rich. It's just like mm, their family is kind of like, uh, I heard bougie. I can't make it up. Nine of pentacles, guys. Maybe you guys are dealing with another earth sign. A Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. But I did see Taurus at the beginning, and now we have a Virgo with the Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who has been single for a long time. They live a life of luxury. They live a life of abundance. They have a lot of things going on for themselves. Okay, this is somebody who is looking to share their life with other people, like you know, with another person, and the people that they consider like very fond of or very close to them so this is somebody who's very generous that you're dealing with and what's going on in this connection is that there is um maybe their family knows that about this person so they're trying to prevent them from getting played because maybe they got played in the past maybe somebody took advantage of them financially and they don't want that to happen to this person what's going on in this connection yeah we have the death card okay there's going to be some sort of transformation in this connection between you and your person uh, Taurus definitely gonna be some sort of major uh, transformation maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart as well but there's a major transformation happening like I feel like this person is gonna maybe ask you to move in with them if you guys are on that path where you're thinking about moving in together or like I keep getting like something to make it official to seal the deal some of you this person may even ask you to marry them like propose to you if you are a feminine watching what's going on in this connection I can't make it up ten of pentacles again guys a lot of abundance stability Maybe this person is going to offer you some money. I heard La Dot. So maybe like some of you are African here. I don't know the name in English, but it's like La Dot is when like um, the man, like he would offer like whatever the family is asking for. So if the family is asking, like I know some African families, like they would ask for money, like they have to give money to the like the mom, the dad. They have to bring presents, a lot of things like before they can even marry the girl. I feel like this person's gonna do that just to show you how like invested they are in you. Some of you, like I'm saying, like I said, this person could be like you could be African, but they're not African, so they are trying to get used to your customs, okay, with the ten of pentacles, but they're gonna rise to the occasion because this person really wants you. So if you know the name in English, just write it in the comment. But in French is la dot, so I don't know the name in English, okay. So what's going on in this connection for my Tauruses? We have the two pentacles and the four of wands. I'm telling you, there's some sort of union here. You guys are gonna, like, this person is going to make it official. They're going to want to make it official with you. There's definitely, um, like, marriage on the on in the books for you and this person. They're not playing about you. 
they're not playing about you with the two of pentacles this is not somebody who's playing about you they have a lot of responsibilities and they see themselves with you they see themselves building with you with the two of pentacles and the four of wands they're like basically right now what they're doing is like arranging their lives in a way where they can bring you in they want to bring you in they want you to be part of their life there's a lot of we 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 like we are doing this we are gonna purchase this house we are like and then this person i feel like they're gonna start asking you your opinion about certain purchases that they make okay so what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for taurus what's going on in this connection for taurus yeah we have the tower definitely unexpected change and it's a positive change it's not a negative change this person does not care what people think like their family that they're they're taking that leap of faith towards you and they know that you're the right one the real deal for them what's going on in this connection for taurus we have the death card yeah some sort of ending but it's like a transformation not like a negative ending where you guys are going to break up it's more about like okay an ending of you guys just dating and now making it official an ending of you guys just like making it official and then moving to another higher level of commitment where you like i said you guys are going to get married this person is going to ask you out like they're going to pay like la dot like this is what i'm getting here this person's gonna let you know like you're gonna know for sure that they're serious about you they're even gonna ask your hand in marriage like i feel like this person could be very traditional okay they're gonna ask your hand in marriage to like your father or something this is what i'm getting here this person's gonna go ask for it doesn't matter where your father is if your father is back home in africa they're gonna like they're gonna take the trip <laughs> to, to ask for your hand in marriage like that's how serious this person is Okay, so what's going on in this connection, Spirit? Ooh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, they want to, like this person, they want to make it official with you. Like they want to make you their wife or their husband. That's what they want in this connection. They don't want to play any more games. This is somebody who is dependable, reliable. Like I said, they could be another earth sign like you with the queen of pentacles. This is somebody who's financially abundant, financially stable, or very good with money. Okay, so what's going on in this connection for my Taurus's spirit, sun, moon, rising, Venus? What's going on in this connection? Yeah, we have the knight of pentacles. This is like um, repetition, meticulous energy, slow and steady, dependable. This Okay, so this person, how they view you and this connection, they view this connection as something that's going to last the test of time. This person has grown from a boy to a man. That's what I heard. So if initially this person was acting not like childish but they were acting like you know maybe distant like they were not ready like this person like you awoken something in this person that made them realize that they have to step up their game that they have to bring the a game with you that you're not the same as what they're used to and then if they want to keep you in their life they're gonna have to step it up or else they're gonna lose you to someone better and they're like this is somebody who's very competitive okay they are willing to fight for your love that's what this person is willing to go above and beyond just to show you how much they care we have the ace of wands so in this connection there's a lot of passion so the same way that you are attracted to this person they are attracted to you what's going on in this connection for taurus spirit Ooh, a lot of emotional satisfaction with the queen of cups okay this is a very loving individual that you're dealing with, Taurus. This is somebody who takes your feelings into consideration before they do anything. So they think about how their action is going to affect you if they were to continue on a certain path or do certain things that they know could hinder the connection or break the connection, the bond altogether. So they try to steer clear of like situations, people, places that they know could influence them in a negative way. This person is very attentive to your needs with the Queen of Cups. They could be a water sign as well because we have Scorpio here three times. So this person could definitely have Scorpio in their chart as well. But this person is very passionate about you and they don't play about you. So what's going on in this connection for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising? Oh my gosh, guys, Queen and the King of Cups. The feelings are mutual the feelings are mutual okay like how you feel about them they feel about you 
this is a beautiful union Taurus you deserve this you deserve to be with somebody who feels the same way about you somebody who's willing like not willing to let you go like they're not gonna let you go they're gonna fight for you they feel like you're worth it okay i don't feel like there's any toxicity because the devil didn't come out but i'm really getting like an energy of like a lot of passion between you guys in this connection it's a beautiful union that has the potential to last the test of time because we do have the knight of pentacles so this is somebody who's willing to dedicate themselves to you to commit themselves so there is an energy of commitment here with the ten of pentacles even though there's challenges and obstacles because there's people in your family or this person's family that's against this connection but this person doesn't care. They feel like it's worth the risk. So what's going on in this connection? Like, can you provide us a little bit more detail or just confirmation? Like sign spirit of the person that Taurus is dealing with. Ooh, we have water. And then we have Virgo. I did say Virgo. So this person could have Virgo in their chart or they could be a Virgo. This is somebody who is very observant. Yeah, they're going to be very attentive to your needs or they are already very attentive to your needs. They're emotionally available. What's going on in this connection, Spirit? We have Pisces. Ooh, this person could definitely have Pisces in their chart because we do have water sign here. And we, Scorpio came out and then Uranus. So definitely Scorpio here. Intensity. Like the level of passion and intensity is mutual here. What's going on? We have Taurus. Didn't I say? I'm telling you. It's another earth sign like you that could have like water moon or something. Or it could be a water sign with a earth moon or something. But like you guys are definitely equally yoke. And the attraction is mutual. Okay. You guys are in sync with each other. It's a beautiful union okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is still tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number two you picked a red dog figurine and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie oh, welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way that i like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings okay so my pal number two Taurus is sun moon rising what is going on in your connection what is going on in your connection Ooh, somebody's about to make an offer with the ace of pentacles so maybe you're connecting with multiple people like you're just dating but there's one person one specific person that's piquing your interest my pal number two my Tauruses because I feel like you guys are not official with anybody yet like you guys are still single but there's one particular person that's standing out from all the people that you're seeing that you're dating at the moment what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection Ooh, star whoever you're connecting with Taurus is somebody who has a lot of unique qualities to them this is somebody who's eccentric original authentic they could be an aquarius here they definitely have star like qualities to them that's why they stand out from the crowd like from all the people that you're currently dating at the moment and i feel like this person is um wanting to connect with you on a deeper level and they're gonna want to make a an offer yeah we have the four of pentacles okay this this connection is definitely grounding and it's leading to some sort of like mutual respect yeah we have the three of cups okay it's a very happy moment because i feel like you're i definitely feel like you're dating around taurus i feel like you are and it's nothing bad with dating because i feel like you're single so that's the moment to explore 
and keep your options open to see like you know who's the best candidate for you to settle with or to be in a connection with and i feel like this person whoever you're connecting with that this reading is for this person brings a lot of happy moments like you guys have a lot of happy moments together with the three of cups a lot of like joyful moments where you guys are in sync with each other there's a lot of happy thoughts happy energy okay like you guys are always celebrating yeah ace of pentacles i'm telling you this person's gonna make an offer of exclusivity and they're coming with a solid offer what they bring to the table is actually the best offer that you could get based on what you're currently like exploring at the moment i'm not saying that there can't be anybody better out there but this person is is really good like there's no complaints because we have the ace of pentacles twice like like you can't get any better than the ace of pentacles like you know when you're having it twice in the reading like like how many pentacles do you need you need another third of pentacles like another pentacles for you to know that this person is the good the real deal we have the page of wands like i'm really getting like you're gonna know okay you you're gonna know because this person is gonna come in with this offer where it's gonna be like yo if i pass out on this offer foolish that's foolishness because you like this person too okay like the vibe is good the vibe is real the vibe is authentic with the star this person has a lot of things going on for themselves with the ace of pentacles twice this person is not fake whatever you see is what you get and then you know that you could sense that taurus because you've dated you're dating multiple people and you could tell that this person stands out from all your other suitors that's why i'm saying like you don't need another ace of pentacles in this reading for you to know that this is the right one this is the real one okay there's a lot of excitement here so what's going on in this connection for for taurus sun moon rising what's going on in this connection six of pentacles equal give and take so whatever you put into this connection this person is going to give out but i feel like this person is going to multiply whatever you give them so you give them a lot of love this person is going to give you like abundantly more than what you're giving them and this this is a giver this is whoever you're dealing with whoever is standing out from your um your potential suitors that you're you're dating right now this person is a giver and they're a giver at heart so there's no strings attached so when they give they give from their heart they don't give because they want something in return so what's going on in this connection we have the world card this person could be a foreigner or you could be the foreigner taurus what's going on in this connection yeah ace a page of pentacles a lot of youthful energy here because i feel like you see with the page of pentacles this is why i'm getting like you guys are not official yet with this person and with the ace of pentacles especially with this one is an offer somebody's coming in with an offer a solid offer this person could be a taurus as well because we have the bull here they could definitely be a taurus like you maybe you guys are connected with another earth sign or somebody who has taurus in their chart or aquarius in their chart What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What's going on? We have the Queen of Wands. Ooh. Whoever you're connecting with is very sexy. Ace of Wands, pay, uh, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles twice, Queen of Wands. This is somebody who is extremely confident that they got what you need they got they are like they're not even afraid of you dating around dating other people because they know that they're not gonna like they're the best like not in a cocky way guys this person i'm not gonna have their cocky they're just very confident like they know what they bring into the table and like i said if you were to say no to this person and pass out on the pass on pass off this opportunity you will be the losing because you're losing somebody who has a lot to offer you and somebody who is genuine like people like this person doesn't come by often like this is like a rare, rare gem that you or you're being given taurus so what's going on in this connection for taurus sun moon rising Ooh, didn't i say that you're dating i knew it okay you can't come oh you can't tell me nothing taurus okay i know you're dating around <laughs> with the seven of cups okay and this person they're one of your suitors 
but they are the suitor like that guy or that girl and I like I said not in a cocky way this person has like they have like their resume speaks for themselves this is somebody who is very much in tune with themselves okay they know what you they bring to the table they know what they got and they're not going to settle and then they see you they like they like what they see they see that you're doing your thing and this person wants to connect with you they want to build with you they want to you know connect with you in a more um intimate way where you guys are together and it's like there's no interference there's exclusivity that's the word i was looking for so this person wants to be exclusive with you but i feel like you want to be exclusive with them too but you're just not sure if you're ready for this exclusivity but like if like this you see this person comes up to you and they want to be exclusive because they will tell you that you have the choice to say like yes you want to be exclusive but or maybe you want to say like you want to take your time this person is going to respect that but the thing is with this person is that the same way that you're dating they're dating too so it's like you don't want to pass up this uh, opportunity just because like you're scared yeah we have the two of wands yeah this person's making a decision you see the king of wands at the bottom of the deck you guys are mirroring each other whether you have fire in your chart or not taurus you maybe do have fire moon or something like that but this person is definitely seeing you as their equal what's going on in this connection we have judgment so they made a decision like i said they made a decision about you they want you they are exploring other options too but like the same way that they stand out to you you stand out to them so this is why i'm getting like taurus don't don't pass up this opportunity <laughs> yeah we have the queen of cups this is somebody who's emotionally available this person definitely views you as someone who's very loving as well. What's going on in this connection spirit? We have the nine of wands. Yeah, they're not giving up. They're not giving up on you guys is connection. They're, this is somebody who's extremely patient with you. They're patiently waiting for you because maybe you told them that you're exploring options, that you're seeing what else is out there and like, you want to take it slow you don't want to rush anything um and you're looking for something serious but like you know you're still exploring your options this person respects that and they're exploring their options too but like you're the number one candidate on their list and i feel like it's the same way for you too taurus but some of you are kind of like afraid yeah chariot this person is definitely going to come towards you like they're going to take action towards you with the chariot energy this is cancer energy this person could be a cancer they could have water in their chart or chris okay but this is somebody who is determined somebody who is confident in their abilities okay what's going on in this Ooh, ten of pentacles and i think uh pal number one for taurus had ten of pentacles as well so it's not the same energy that I'm getting for pound number one and, and you, pound number two. But there is that energy of commitment that I've noticed the pattern for pound number one and two. There's a commitment pattern here. Like whoever you guys are connecting with on a soul level is that energy of commitment. Like, you know, finding the one, being with the person that you feel is the best option for you. And this is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Like this person definitely views you as their Ten of Pentacles, somebody who's worth investing in. in. What's going on in this connection for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising? Just one card, please. What's going on in this connection? Just one, please. What's going on in this connection for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising? I can't make it up. Four of Wands and Pound number One got the Four of Wands as well. This is Divine Union. This is a soulmate energy. Okay? And I feel like this person is walking away from their other options with the Eight of Cups. Like, I really feel like collectively because pile number one it was not the same energy but like i said there's a energy of commitment in the air 
and because we are in a uh, year eight the year like this is a year of abundance but it's also a year where a lot of soulmates and twin flames are reconnecting with each other or connecting with each other meeting each other a lot of people are getting engaged this year or about to get married like some people are already engaged and they're getting married this year but there's like that that energetic pool where people that are meant to be together are finding each other this year so i feel like this is the same thing for you my pal number two what's going on in this connection for taurus can you give us a little bit more detail about this person that taurus is connecting with what do we have we have pluto okay major transformation this person can have scorpio in their chart they could have um taurus and pluto or aquarius cancer what's going on like yeah major transformation in this connection we have virgo we had virgo for pal number one as well so whoever you're kind of connecting with um taurus this is somebody who is reliable trustworthy they are grounded Ooh, a lot of passion here with the mars energy Ooh. Mm, this person is extremely passionate about you <laughs> whoever you're connecting with the passion is growing stronger because we do have the ace of wands and we have the queen of wands this person is very much attracted to you whatever's going what is going on in this connection what is going on in this connection spirit just for taurus we have pisces Ooh, pisces came out for pile number one as well so maybe there could be a message for you in pile number one okay but this person is like i feel like they're trying to manifest they manifested you with the pisces energy intuitively i feel like you guys um are in a telepathic communication with the pisces energy and pisces and virgo are opposite of each other so there is an uh, an energy of opposite attracts okay but you guys are very magnetically connected to each other okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Telebidi Tarot by Kachu again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the blue bear figurine. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous file or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What is going on in this connection? What is going on in this connection? We have the Queen of Cups. I heard emotionally fulfilling connection. Okay, so this is an emotionally fulfilling, emotionally healing connection. So you could be connecting with a water sign or somebody who's very much in tune with their emotions, somebody who's emotionally available, okay? Some of you, you could benefit from using a singing bowl. I don't know why I'm being called to say this, but I don't know, somebody needs to hear that. So what's going on in this connection for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising? What's going on? We have the King of Wands. So whoever you're connecting with, um, Taurus, this is somebody who's very much um confident in their abilities this is somebody who's very much um invested in you in this connection okay they're taking charge they feel very attracted to you this is this could be a sagittarius with a temperance energy um you guys make each other uh complete like you complete each other in a sense where like it's an equal give and take there's it's a balancing act here with you and this person you bring out the best in them they bring out the best in you it's a very healing connection what's going on in this connection spirit yeah we have the eight of pentacles so this is somebody who is willing to invest in you they feel like you are worth it 
they feel like it's going like whatever they invest in this connection is going to yield the results that they desire but it's going to bring in a lot of like um financial abundance and emotionally emotional abundance so what i mean by financial abundance ever since this person met you their finances have increased and i feel like the same thing for you you have seen an a tremendous increase in your finances that's because when you guys exchange energy it's mutual you guys are equally yoked this is what i'm getting here with the eight of pentacles you guys give to each other equally so it's not like you're taking and they're they're like and they're not getting anything in return like the energy keeps flowing so the abundance keeps flowing so there's definitely an energy of like satisfaction here a lot of satisfaction that's what i keep hearing what's going on in this connection spirit your connection is breaking someone else's heart what's going on in this connection yeah we have the nine of wands somebody is in their ego somebody's in their feelings this person could have an ex that's still clinging on to them that doesn't want to let go that doesn't want to move on because this person is seeing that when you guys come together it's very healing somebody's in their feelings somebody's in their ego about you guys coming together or being together or you guys have been together for a long time and this connection is uh growing at a rapid speed uh, speed or i feel like what's going on as well yeah ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles came out for all three piles so this tells me collectively that you guys are connecting with your soulmates your twin flame the person that you're meant to be with because like i said i think i said that in pile number one a lot of people are connecting with their soulmates their twin flame in 2024 this is the year of the soulmate the twin flame reuniting with each other okay and then i feel like you guys are connecting with uh, a high level soulmate a divine counterpart with the ten of pentacles somebody who wants to build with you somebody who wants to grow with you okay this is what i'm getting here with this energy with the ten of pentacles and this person has people around them that are in their feelings this connection is irritating some people's demons with the nine of wands that is causing them to feel some type of way about you guys connecting together because i feel like before you met this person you had a lot of bad relationships and when you met this person like everything starts coming together like you start seeing yourself like you know getting more sales in your business if you have a side hustle or you got a promotion at work or you start making more money like and the same thing for this person like because you guys are making each other like you're raising each other's vibration by being together by connecting together because you guys are equally yoked and it's like an equal give and take yeah you see five of swords like this connection is causing people to be angry This is what I'm getting here with the five of swords. What's going on in this connection? What's going on? Yeah, six of wands. Like the fact that this connection is progressing successfully with the six of wands is causing people to be irritated by your you guys' light, you guys' connection, you guys' like um, loving energy. I'm giving like it's giving power couple vibes here. This is what's going on in this connection it's like extremely successful and you guys have exes or people from the past that are not happy seeing you guys together what's going on in this connection for taurus sun moon rising yeah we have the ace of wands okay a lot of passion a lot of like um positive energy enthusiastic energy this connection is divinely orchestrated divinely guided you guys were meant to meet each other okay how you guys met was divinely guided I feel like you guys met like unexpectedly but it wasn't unexpectedly you guys were supposed to meet each other the way that you did at the time that you did the moment that you did okay with the ace of wands and six of wands a lot of victory and this connection is protected too what's going on in this connection we have the queen of pentacles the way that this person sees you they sees you they see you as somebody who's very loving somebody who's very nurturing we have the ace of cups this person is in love with you they are in love with you the queen of cups is here the emotions are mutual you're in love with this person too with the queen of pentacles this person sees you as somebody who is very much um loving ideal mother or ideal father we have the two of pentacles this person is making space in their life to welcome you to make you in an integral part of their life with the two of pentacles yeah we have the chariot yeah this person is coming in strong with the chariot energy this person could be a cancer 
They could have Cancer in their chart because we do have the Queen of Cups here. This is somebody who is extremely dedicated to you. This connection is progressing. It can't. It kind of seems like it's progressing um, fast with the Chariot and the Ace of Wands. Um, but it's not it's progressing at the right pace It's because you guys are meant to be together you know when you're with the wrong person it just seems like dreading it just seems like it's lagging um, you're there's a lot of stagnancy there's no forward movement that's how you know when the energy is stagnant that means it's not the right person and spirit is just trying to show you clues or signs that this is not for you that you know the right person obviously you don't want somebody who's gonna love bomb you but I'm not gonna like this a love bombing energy this is like somebody that you may have been together for like six months to a year and it's just progressing the proper rate okay because this person's serious about you somebody who's love bombing you there is gonna be like after a week they're already telling you that they're in love with you that you're the one like what we only known each other for like a couple of days you know that's not what i'm getting here this is more like you know six weeks you guys started like you know dating it was like this person was showing you signs they were consistent for the first six weeks and then after the first six weeks they didn't just drop out of nowhere and then start dating someone else no they were consistently dating you okay showing you that they that's what they wanted that's where they wanted to be this is where they're going to invest their time and then now six months later a year later this person wants to make it like more official or like you guys are showing it signs that you guys want to move to the next level of commitment we have uh, the hermit so this person could have virgo in their chart and then virgo came out for all three piles too so a very grounded individual that you're dealing with Somebody who's down to earth, somebody who wants to uh, be in a committed relationship. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who is very loving, very romantic, attractive here. What's going on in this connection? They like they like the romantic side of this connection. Like this person, like you're allowing them to be in touch with their feminine side. If this is a masculine, okay they are in touch with their feminine side so like the beauty aesthetics like this person you make them want to be a better person this connection is also doing the same thing for you like you're noticing certain patterns about yourself that you want to change so that way you could come like you could show up in, in a better way for this connection this is what it's doing to you the same way that this person wants to be better with the eight of pentacles the same way that you want to invest in yourself and be the better best version of yourself ten of pentacles yo the pe ten of pentacles came out for all three piles and for you and pile number one, it came out twice. Yeah, this is somebody who sees you as their ten of pentacles, that they want to invest in. Yeah, they want a serious relationship with you. We have Taurus energy, your energy. But this is also the energy of commitment, union. Sorry about that, Taurus. You see, I'm telling you, there is interference because there's people in their feelings. They're going to want to stop this union from coming to fruition because they don't like to see you guys together. But they can't stop this because... It is divinely orchestrated for you guys to come together. There is definitely um, energy of like higher level of commitment with the Hierophant. That's what this person wants with you. This is what this connection is going to lead to. And I like to pick up on those type of energies. I don't like to pick up on like negative energies and stuff like that or like karmics or toxic cycles. Like, nah, that's not really a good fun energy to read as well. I love reading energies like that where people are actually coming in. They're they want to be true. They want to be honest. They want a real loving relationship. They don't want to play games. That's what I want to see for the collective. And this is who you're connecting with. Okay. So this person really sees you as somebody that they want to build something solid with because we do have the Ten of Pentacles twice. So this is a beautiful energy to connect with or to be in love with because this is somebody who's gonna have your back somebody who's going to be dedicated to you okay if you have a child here this person loves your child like their own because the Queen of Pentacles could also represent a mother they love your kid equally okay they appreciate your kid and they accept you and your child so if you were worried about this person not feeling comfortable with you having a kid you don't have to worry about that this person is very comfortable with that and they are like maybe this person comes from a single parent home as well maybe their mother was a single mother so they they appreciate that they appreciate all the effort that you put in to take care of your child we have the four of wands i think the four of wands came out for all three pals as well so I'm telling you this is the year of divine union this is the year of soulmate coming together with their person i can't make it up 
Okay, the two cups. The feelings are mutual. That's what's going on in this connection. So I feel like some of you are kind of like, you were worried about this person, like especially if you have a child, cause I know like, you know, when you have a child, it's a little bit difficult to date. Cause you know, you, there's a lot of people that have like ulterior motives or bad intentions towards, especially single mothers. Or maybe you are worried about that. I'm getting like here is spirit is saying like, don't worry too much about that because this person does not, it doesn't matter to them if you have a child because they see you as their soulmate. They understand that life happens, okay? That not every relationship is meant to last and that children are not off limit like you know like it's not like a deal breaker so what's going on in this connection for Taurus Sun Moon Rising what's going on in this connection you see that's the second time five of swords comes out somebody's pissed somebody's angry Either your ex or this person's ex. Somebody's angry that you guys are coming together. Some of you could be like, let's say if you have a child, it's your baby daddy. Your baby daddy's upset about this connection. It's irritating their demon. Maybe that's like this person does not want you to be in a, a loving relationship. Okay. What's going on in this connection, spirit? What's going on in this connection? Ooh, we have the sun. So something is going to be illuminated to you. You're going to see the truth about like certain people around you. That's going to like, because of this connection that you are in, it's going to irritate some people. And you're going to see the tr their true feelings and how they really feel about you being in a loving re relationship. What's going on in this connection spirit? We have Mars. Ooh, a lot of passion. The sun and Mars. Ooh. A lot of like mutual attraction, intimacy protection i feel like this person's overprotective of you what's going on in this connection spirit for a taurus sun moon rising what's going on in this connection taurus sun moon rising what's going on in this connection just one card please spirit just one card we have pisces yo pisces came out for all three piles so water sign heavy this is somebody who thinks a lot about you who they have manifested you too. What's going on in this connection? We have Saturn. Okay, Lord of Carmine. And we have Venus. But with the Saturn energy, wow. With the Saturn energy. Sorry about that, guys. Like, you see the distraction. I'm telling you, somebody doesn't want you to come together with this person. Okay? With the Saturn energy, this is like um, divinely guarded. It was like because saturn is the lord of karma lessons spiritual lessons but it's also about restriction okay i feel like this um this connection could have felt like it was restricted at first but it was because of energetic interferences that was trying to block you guys from coming together but we see with the eight of pentacles this person did, did persevere they really wanted to be with you and they didn't care about who what or was trying to come in between you guys they knew what they want and they went for it this connection is an alignment okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye